Hello guys and gals to another episode of Deep Web Browsing, episode 29 to be exact. Basically another week where we take a look at the dank side, the weird side, the creepy side of the internet to see what it really holds and what new stuff we can find. Now of course uh, none of this is scripted or pre-planned, we don't know what we're going to find. I've got a couple little things that I pulled up, but other than that it's going to be a little exploration into what the deep web contains or the dank web or whatever you want to call it. I just call it a good time and a relaxing way to spend my uh, day off today. So that being said, let us take a dive right into what happens on this week in episode 29 of Deep Web Browsing. All right, so we haven't actually seen one of these in a while. Um, for those people who were here in the beginning of the series, we actually took a... Hmm, let me fix that for a second there. It was like a little off-center. But uh, what we actually came across initially for the uh, first couple times in the Deep Web was something called a uh, Hitman service that you could find. So basically, we came across a whole bunch of them. This is actually another one that just recently popped up. It's called Mechanic. Now, of course, it's got some definitions. So Noun 1, an expert card player. Especially one adept at cheating, card sharp. No mechanics, sharps were tolerated, 1909 gambling. Number two, a professional killer, hired gun hitman. Some prison mechanic will take him out on the lunch line. 1973 was when that was used, but this person doesn't play any cards. They say they're a former military soldier, paratrooper, veteran marksman, and experienced mechanic. I don't know if that's talking about dealing with cars or killing people, but they're looking for a new contract. Standard asking price is 12 thousand euros no advance payment for contracts inside you i think they meant european union eu not ue uh 50, sorry no no no. it was no advance payment now it's 50 percent advance payment must be paid before the job starts any questions please ask unencrypted messages will be ignored nine seven five blah, 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 it's safe mail.net now a lot of people ask and some person actually recommended that i look into this and say oh my god is this real um uh it's weird okay you don't know if something is going to be real or if it isn't going to be real, but this is probably fake. A, because it was really freaking easy for me to find. B, nobody is going to advertise themselves on their, like, public pages. And let me tell you why, okay? This is what you call an FBI honeypot or a, you know, MI5, your Interpol honeypot, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's a honeypot, all right? Basically what happens is you lose $12,000 and in some form and fashion you will in fact get tracked by whatever law enforcement agency is behind this exact page. Now it could be an actual killer, I don't know, but people that work in that line of business aren't usually that forthcoming with what they do. There's communities for this place and usually it's kept you know, on a need-to-know basis and it's usually a referral kind of process to meet people like this. But that being said, you know, it's not like I've ever freaking hired a hitman in my life, but you know, common sense will dictate that this shit is most likely a honeypot. But it's an interesting looking one, and I like looking at these kind of websites because it's nice to, it's sort of like bookmarks on the deep web, right? Like, oh, here we found, you know, so-and-so website. But this is one of those so-and-so websites, you know. Is the mechanic real? I have no idea, all right? Now, why they why the fuck they would call themselves a mechanic, I, I really don't get it, okay? Usually when I think of mechanics, I think of, you know, vehicle people. But, but you know, I never, I never once think of hitmen, all right? <laughs> But I guess I guess the unofficial slang really tolerates to that. But that being said, it was nice to see another Hitman website. Is it real? Very questionable. But I I'll be honest with you. Okay, it's it's fake. All right, it's it's fake. All right, that's what it is. It's prank channel fake. But that being said, let's move on to what the next website is. You know, something tells me I should not have entered this website because it's kind of freaking weird. This is Sentimental Corp. All right. Um. It's a website that apparently is controlled by Illuminati forces. Illuminats. The Illuminati controls this website. And basically it has a secret to that the Illuminati has. Now if you see on the bottom it says Ultra Material. I really don't know what the fuck that means. But we'll check into it. Okay, we'll browse the whole website like we usually do. So on the homepage they have like nothing written on the TV. is obviously poorly edited in. And you got this lovely couple looking into obviously what is nothing. And up here you got like weird ass gifts. And you got this like red little thing. All right. This red like click. All right. Red button over here. That takes us to something called like an interview. So we're going to look at what the top part is. All right. And we're going to go click on this first lady with her eyes completely all weird. This is eyes of. Ooh. What the fuck? Okay. Dude. See that? Illuminat confirmed. These files contain a hypnotic induction. And subliminals, both are mentally and psychologically toxic. Oh, boy. All right. You know what? We're going to 
We're going to take a little step back. Apparently this is going to fuck with my head. By the way, I have Spanish subtitles at the top. It's kind of loud, so I'm going to kill that. Actually, we'll keep it at the top and I'll just turn it down from that because I think it's just killing the audio too much. This is Ida's Eyes of Randy Prozac. Go get a job, pick out a wife, and have two kids and live the good life. This is 57 that's minutes, your dude. It's your selfish delusion because we're killing ourselves. Won't be food on the shelves. It all falls down. Believe me, it will. What the fuck? Is this literally like. What the fuck is this, dude? It's literally Illuminax. Holy shit! It's so, what the fuck? Alright, it's literally 57 minutes of. Oh god, dude, this is gonna fuck Uh, okay, let's go to the index over here. Parasite Dreams. They got like eight treatments. Prolonged exposure to this material may cause serious harm to your mental integrity. Whatever, dude. I've been fucking shattered before, man. It's all right, dude. I'm Dave Reaver. For the next hour, we're going to be presenting to you on video some of the most bizarre and unbelievable things that we have ever... What the fuck, dude? Is Your plans are gonna fail. So go tell that to all the fucking grandchildren of Big Daddy Rockefeller. You're just a foreskin in the underground database. Fucking pawn. Fucking conformist, rapist, murderer. Why don't you go buy some? All right, dude. What the fuck was that, dude? That is fucking weird. The dude. Shrine of Goat Worship. All right, what the fuck am I going to, man? All right, they got like. Now this is like if you have DID or MPD, this moderate urge to use is full of triggers. All right, let's go to Alter One, dude. Um, wow, they got like lines upon lines of rituals. What? Go you have no meaning. You have no understanding of how small you are. You have no understanding of who I am, what I'm from. Believing only what you see is real. Went from Ronald McDonald to this guy snipping his dick off, dude. It flew right at the camera. Oh, that is not something I wanted to see this morning. Fuck, dude. What the fuck other altars does he have? He has like, there's like multiple rituals of this shit. What am I looking at, dude? It's fucking, it's gross. Ugh. God, that made my dick fucking hurt, dude. Masturbation care unit? What? What the fuck? From childhood's hour, I have not been. From the same source, I have not taken my sorrow. I could not awaken my heart to. This is a Randy Prozac interview, 2014. First of all, thank you. What made you creating the Sentimental Corp in the first place? My website is intended for ladies only, but I can't control that, so I put up with it. Also, I consider my website to be timely, cordial, and mannerly. I'm the type of man who wears dinner gloves and an evening suit. And if people think my website is scary, then I suggest you go visit a senior citizen's home. Dude, you, you, just, you, you just made me see some guy cutting his dick off, okay, right? There's... No, okay? All right, don't... It's not scary... It's fucking retarded. All right, I'm sorry if somebody gets offended with me using that word, but fuck. I have no thoughts on Facebook. The entire internet was designed by military corporations. Oh, he's one of those fucking, oh, what is this, dude? Uh, New World Order, I mean the Illuminati, turn back. Let's pretend we're on a play date. All right, this guy, this guy just, this guy talks for like ever, dude. But over here, he mentions like aliens and all that stuff. And of course, he mentions constantly that people on YouTube, Facebook or whatever, Pretending to be Randy Prozac are all fakes. But uh, this is this is weird, okay? This is Sentimental Corp. 
All right, apparently Randy Prozac made this. I don't know if he's in the Illuminati, dude, but he sounds really fucking weird, dude. Goat worship is some of the weirdest stuff. Uh, so here he talks about like goat worship and shit. Very for some gosh material. And in anger, numerous things. Uh, all them are serious psychological issues. Uh, patient fit. Oh, okay, what was it? A parasite dreams. What we just saw actually was an experiment using new technology. We heard potential treatment. Uh, okay, wait. I purchased a copy of what is known as Sims 2, and I lobotomized his brain so it would follow new instructions. Most of the time, I'm not cooperate. So he modded the game to be fucked up. Okay, that's that's great, dude. That is that is great. This guy's weird. Okay, that, that's all I can really say. Um. His website's weird, but he's got a whole lot of videos on here that would I recommend you watch them? Actually, yeah, they're interesting. Um, just be careful. You know, you might see dicks being cut off. I did. I don't want to see that, but whatever. Okay. Um, we're going to back out of this. We're going to go to a different website. This is definitely like, this is an interesting site to go to. Okay. I'm, I don't even know what to say, man. It's weird. All right. This, this Randy Prozac guy. It's fucking weird as shit, dude. With that being said, we're going to go to a different website, man, and hopefully one that's not as trigger-intensive as as this one is, you know? That being said, yeah, let's go to a different site, okay? Boom. What the fuck? Okay, this is weird, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently I have a clear web link, too. Um, This is Reborn Baby. Uh, On first glance... It's really fucking weird. Uh, these look like real babies, but they're actually dolls. This is a site where people share pictures of lifelike baby dolls. Okay. It's not weird at all. The process of reborning a doll is being able to create a realistic baby as possible. This is achieved by firstly creating a doll mold to start. Mm, that sounds weird. It's necessary to begin coloring a doll's head but to a very different cheek to give a very realistic human skin effect. Yeah, this looks really fucking real, actually. It's scary. Uh, <clears throat> modeled effects is that when you're born baby, you also had veins and other methods to have the real lifelike quality. Our babies arrived to customers weighted and stuffed to feel very cuddly and similar to that of a baby. The arms, legs, and heads are also weighted to give each doll a comparable body weight. For the doll to have realistic hair, preferred option is to root the head and eyelash with a high quality colored mohair. I don't know what mohair is. The rooting process is achieved by using a special needle which locks each individual strand of hair into the vinyl baby doll. This is done strand by strand. It could take days. Oh yeah, dude. That's why it looks real. Look at that shit, dude. That's the person sat there and put like all that hair bit by bit. That's holy shit, dude. Okay. Uh, the tiny nails have been manicured and varnished to give a nice gloss finish. Holy shit, dude. People at effort. This shit's probably expensive. This is like a gallery of, oh my god, dude. These people make this shit? This looks real as fuck. It's like real babies. This is fucking weird, dude. I mean, obviously, I mean, they're not selling fucking kidnapped babies or whatever, but this is fucking weird, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, what is the about me section? Can I, can I get an about me? Deborah King, oh, that's her. That's the lady that makes it. Deborah King has been a reborn artist for over five years, seeing the art grow and develop. She has sold dolls to collectors all over the world. Reborn artistry is involved. Like, yeah, that's pretty fucking lifelike, dude. That's holy shit. You are, you are good there. Uh, she splits her time making caring for her two daughters, working in the social care sector. So she's a pretty nice woman. Uh, Deborah lists most of her work on eBay and gets large exposure to his product. When her daughter, you can view them via dolls for a sale rolling on the menu. Thanks for taking time to enjoy the site. Okay. All right. <clears throat> that was, uh, that's something. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, uh, whew. This is lifelike as all fuck, dude. Um, I don't know what to say about this. This is really weird, okay? I'm feeling really, really, really weirded out by browsing this webpage. I feel like this this episode of Deep Web Browsing is a little on the weird side. I don't want it to be this fucking weird. Um, it's not bad. It's Obviously, she's not committing a crime. That is, that is uncanny valley real. It's actually scaring the fuck out of me. So you know what? We're going to... 
going to back the fuck out of this page real slowly. Pretend we saw nothing, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, if you want to buy a reborn doll from Deborah King, she's this is her webpage. Uh, and she apparently sells it on ebay.co.uk. So if you're really into this, you know, she's she's tapping the fetish. All right, we're going gonna, we're gonna to back out. We're going we're gonna to go to a different site. Thank you very much. Oh, man, you know this is going to be fucking hot. This is a cult website, ladies and gentlemen. This is where the real shit's at. This is truthism.com, your number one source for the truth. Have You know, we've heard this a shit ton of time. Time cubes, all right, fucking all that crap. We've heard it. We've heard this. First and foremost, this website is not a hoax or a joke. Yeah, thanks a lot, Ty Lopez. We get it. The information on this website is, in fact, not crap, nonsense, or conspiracy theories, all right? Relax there. Okay, so... Let's let's have an open mind, okay? In order to grasp the truth, you must use your free will and freedom of thought. Don't worry, we're gonna use every bit of free, 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 free freedom of thought we got. Okay, t -t 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 don't worry. Upon arriving on the site, you will likely have a strong, instinctual urge to defend your current belief system. Don't worry, I'm keeping an open mind. Most human beings deny the truth. They got that red pill shit right there, you know. So they're they're really they're really on point with the whole uh, matrix terminology there. Um, human beings on earth like to blow human beings on earth. Yeah. On earth like to blow out the truth by claiming that it is simply nonsense, calling it, for example, funny, hilarious and original or entertaining. In addition, they automatically discard the truth messenger as being a standard issue schizophrenic. Who's obviously out. Okay. You know, all right. I get it. Okay. I, I have an open mind. All right. I got it. What the truth is not. Uh, it is not necessarily politically correct or socially acceptable. Okay. All right. We get it. Thank you very much. They got official dumb. All right, whatever, that's a new terminology. Let's go down. The continuity of power and Earth's so-called ancient mysteries. They... You, lo yeah, you lost me right there. Human beings were created. That is invented. Oh, boy. Via genetic experiment <laughs> that were conducted by reptilian aliens. Oh, boy. The reptilian aliens, also known as the Anunnaki or the reptilians, still rule the Earth to this day. I'm fucking done, dude. I'm fu <laughs> <laughs> fucking reptilians, dude. Fucking reptilians, man. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? All right. <clears throat> All right. Keep an open mind, ladies and gentlemen. The reptilians have indoctrinated you so thoroughly that you're probably too weak-minded to even fathom that they exist. I'm pretty, pretty weak-minded. They're here on Earth. The concept of an acceptable... Uh, yet the concept of aliens is taboo and is ultra ridiculed by society and a freakish hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil type fashion. It is no coincidence that Earth... Alright, dude, okay, look. Alright. Okay. This this is fucking stupid as shit. <laughs> Alright, really? Reptilians? Alright, let's go over here. Man's the greatest lie. The repti Oh, there's proof, alright. The reptilians in ancient times... Uh, there are many ancient texts that concentrate to the powerful serpent race that controls mankind. It's neither a coincidence nor a baseless mythology. Uh, no, people were not dumb and crazy back in ancient times. They kind of were to an extent. Uh, the Indian Naga, Gnostic Arkan, American Shetty. All right. Most importantly, a lot of ancient evidence has been intentionally destroyed or... Oh, God, we got the Illuminati conspiracies, man. That's an alien in ancient time. That's apparently an alien right there. This is not drawn... What? What the fuck is the alien smiling and rubbing his junk, dude? What the fuck? Oh, man, look at that. Classic A. Lamaze right there. Proof. Crop circles. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Right now. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go look through a lot of this, and we're going to try to find... Oh, Earth Secret Societies. What is this? Some Masonic company. Sonic? Oh, just because they're using a triangle? You're saying that Sonic is... What? No! Okay, these are just like the okay the dollar bill. These are just like fucking. They're just reaching for shit right here, ladies and gentlemen. Japan. Okay, you know what? You know, let's let's look around over here. Okay, sleep paralysis in the fourth dimension. Deprive yourself of sleep, ladies and gentlemen. Do that shit definitely. What the fuck is this, dude? What the fuck? Human beings have two sets of eyelids. What? And no, human beings cannot shape shift. What the fuck are we looking at, dude? Eyelid crap? This is this this is this is weird. This guy this guy's weird. He's got he's got links and stuff to falsebeliefs.com, zia12.net. 
You can no longer hide behind your conventional, spiritually immature worldview, and your feeble-minded reasoning does not and cannot negate that which actually exists. As truth will not bow. All right. Okay, truthism, all right. I kept an open mind. I still find it to be a lot of bullshit. All right. No, we were not the products of lizards. All right. I don't, I don't believe that at all. But you know what? You tried. And I'm going to ask people in the audience what you think of. Are we from lizards or not? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> we're going to go to a different fucking website. And uh, yeah, we're going to see uh, what that contains. And hopefully that makes more sense than this shit. What the fuck, man? Lizard squad up in this. To be fair, keep an open mind. Don't believe everything you read. Maybe this could be true. Maybe we are the product of lizards. I don't know. All right, I'm just some guy on the internet. Okay, I'm. What do I look like? The expert on lizards? Not really. Gentlemen, this is Michael's top secret page. Um, this is a new link that I've actually found out through the crawlers on uh, the deep web. Um, this is apparently by an individual simply known as Michael, and they have what appears to be, uh, just a bunch of hexadecimal code over here. Well, not hexadecimal, but they got a bunch of, you know, hexa code over here, and they got, they got these, like, dices around in this section. Um, but what is it, okay? Uh, usually, one thing that we do over here is, I'm actually going to tell you about something that I don't believe I ever really told you about, is viewing page source, if I could actually view it real quickly... Here we go. For some reason, my VM is a little slow. Uh, but what I'm doing over here is I'm actually accessing the page source. Now, what I mean by accessing the page source is there. Mm, hold on, get out of here. Is this all right? So let's see, let's get into it. All right, I don't even know where I'm going here. But the page source is basically what this web page is down to the HTML coding inside it. Now, one thing that I haven't actually been doing a whole lot, and I really should be doing every time we go to a deep web website or any website in general that's weird, is I should be accessing the page source because over here you can see hidden goodies that you may not see at at first glance if you go on a Michael's top secret page. So I'll basically guide you through what it's going on over here, okay? Now, remember one thing. What appears on this page, all right, may not necessarily reflect what goes on over here. This is basically every single thing that goes on in the page. Now, they could have tags over here that hides certain stuff on this page so you can't visually see it, but it's there. And that's why we use the... Uh, the source so we can see everything about it. We can basically see where it's linking to and it is basically the guts of what is the actual website. Now over here we see it's got the HTML tag, of course. This is what starts it off as the HTML page. They've got Michael's top secret page right up over here and it actually, this is where the link is written, so 5QA, you know, 5QA right over there. This is where they have the dice and if you go down you got the hexadecimal right over here and nothing is in between, all right, you can tell. Now, if you go down over here, it apparently has one more link, which is HTTPS colon slash slash mscharer.net. And apparently that's secret, but it's displayed as very faint, appears to be Braille, and it is a link. And if you go down, all you got is this ellipses, and that's about it. And that's all the page has to offer. So I actually did not notice this weak form of Braille, or what appears to be Braille. So I'm going to try accessing it and see where it takes me to. So we're going to click on it and go again. My VM is running slow for some reason. I think it's because the uh, the RAM needs to be completely refreshed. I've actually had this on for uh, for a few hours before I actually filmed this episode. Um, and I know I shouldn't really be doing that. But over here we have something called Michael Scharrer. And this has taken us to a clear link website. A lot of deep websites do this. They take you from the deep web to the clear web pretty quickly. Uh, but what it is, is it is a Michael Shar's website. He's got POV ray stuff, all sorts of POV stuff. So let's actually open that, what it is. It doesn't look creepy by default, which is, you know, a fair refreshment right after the kind of shit we saw this episode. And there's a contact key for him. He's got PGP, various accounts, blah, blah, blah. And what is this? Scenes? Animations? Oh, let's open up scenes by me. This is by him himself. Let me go to his contact information. This is his PGP language. He's German-based. He can speak Japanese. Uh, something about best. I'm not going to click on that. And he's got a contact, for, uh, you know, email for him as well, too. He's even got Bitcoin, so you could send him money if you really want. But uh, this is the artwork that he makes. Okay. And this is interesting because it's not something that is, say, trying to open blueprints, but it's pretty slow. It's not something that's, say, creepy. It's just this guy had a deep web site that was secret and apparently linked to his, I guess you could say, portfolio. This is some really nice kind of work. 
Uh, blueprints made by Cracklebagger or Nebula and started to become more and more. Oh, so he makes it by computer generated ray tracing. This is actually a process that uh, where the computer just sends out, you know, fucking lines and shit in 3D space that go in every single direction. And uh, this is what he's got. Holy crap. This actually looks really interesting. I might actually use this for my wallpaper. Nice job, Michael. Holy crap. Um, but it apparently seems to be his portfolio, if anything. He had just had a secret website that linked to this clear web website. So if you want to really check it out, it's just mscharer.net. Uh, that, well, michaelscharer.net. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not wondering why I'm saying M MS, if anything. But, uh, this is, this is interesting shit. This is really interesting because he's got just his artwork up here. It's not creepy. It's not edgy. It's just this guy's artwork, all right? It's not a cult website. It's not a hitman. That's, you know, attracting people to a super secret site. This is just some dude making freaking art and posting it on the internet. That's actually sweet. He went above and beyond past the DeviantArt stage into his own site. That That's something that I really, really... Find. Some of this stuff is interesting, too. So let's click on Infinite Spring before we... Actually, let's click on Growth. That looks kind of cool. This is just ray tracing art that he's made. Congratulations, man. This is This is good shit. This is, like, good wallpaper. Look at this. Growth, POV, growth, branching, trek, uh, thickening generated as a blob object by POV ray macro, which can simulate random growth based on a seed. Oh, shit, dude. That's, that's interesting. All right, this is really cool. So this is Michael Scharr, by the way. Pleasant surprise. Uh, when I came across his, you know, secret website, I didn't really know what to expect. This was on the lowest of my list, but I'm glad I found it. You know, we learned a little bit about Michael Scharr, uh, that he apparently is a POV ray tracing god. And that being said, we're going to go see the next website too. It's interesting to find. It's good to see uh, some normal shit. Well, you know, normal as much as it is. And congratulations on uh, Michael Shar for making some good art. That being said, we're going we're gonna to go right into the next bit here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we start off with our deep web video of the week. And uh, as always, I have not watched this uh, video, and I do not know what goes on. Uh, but it is about 40, no, no, sorry, yeah, 53 seconds in length. And uh, that being said, let's actually dive in and see. And after that, we'll obviously analyze and see what goes on. So I'm going to hit play, and let's see what this video is all about. I am Frank. Well, it is shot pretty professionally, kind of, in all honesty. That's pretty sweet. Some people in the gas mask. What the fuck? Looks to come is still unsure, and the little ones lies no plenty. We'll count your crooked sweet and twenty. Roots of stuff we're not enduring. You will be my Magdalena beating. Journey's end and lovers meeting. Okay. Um, that was interesting. Uh, None of that made any sense to me. It basically was just a poem uh, about Frank. Something about love tossed in here, but apparently nothing is over here. Let magpies pick my worm-rid soul. What the fuck are we looking at, dude? Apparently, it, it looks to be shot really, really professionally. That's one thing I will give the video in itself. It is shot professionally. Um, It's very low resolution, in fact. It's my problem that I actually bumped it up by, you know... A considerable margin when I really shouldn't have. Um, but basically what it is, it's, it's just some dude, if we start off from the beginning, laying down over there in what appears to be a gas mask. And over here they have this giant, like, freaking screamo response. I, I, actually, no, they scream, then they put on the mask. And then after that, you got the shot of this, uh, you know, attractive woman over here. And as you proceed on through, you get this fucking doll with, like, maggots in her eye. All right, and that's about it. That's that's where it goes through. And then you just see shots and more of these maggots until eventually all you see is this weird shot that I just can't decipher what goes on over here. And finally, you get the shot of the doll. And that's about it. That's literally all the, all the freaking story is. There's nothing more to it. The, the image is very pixelized. It's very low resolution. It was just bumped up, you know, to like 1080p or whatever for no exact reason. 
Um, maybe it was an issue with me re-rendering it out. I don't know exactly. But uh, that's the whole video in itself. Um, is it creepy? The sound itself makes it really, really creepy. But what is the story behind it? I don't know. It feels like somebody's edgy, edgy art experiment, but it's done so well. Um, I don't know what goes on over here. I really don't know the story behind it. Maybe this guy's trying to find love. Maybe it's a serial killer. Who really knows? All I know is it's really, really weird. Um, but if you all can help decipher it, let me know in the comments below what you think. I think it's a little better than, uh, you know, two weeks ago when we looked at that video. Uh, this one I actually really, really, really found a little unnerving. And if it wasn't for, like, say, the daytime setting, I actually would have been kind of spooked watching this, to be honest. I don't really know what to say about it. It has a lot of Japanese, uh, you know, letters referencing into it. Um, it's, it's basically kind of like a poem. I don't know what it really is. Maybe this guy's some kind of fucking sick serial killer. Maybe it's just some person trying to be all edgy and make a interesting little video on the deep web. Who's to say? But that being said, let us back out. And if somebody actually has some information on this video, let us know in the comments below. We're always looking for that. But that being said, let's go to the, uh, you know, let's, let's, uh, let's get out of this video and see what, uh, the else the deep web has to offer this fine day. Uh, this is uh, this is interesting. So this person is apparently somebody that can do your homework for you. See, the hit, the, the deep web is not cons consisting of hitmen all the time. This person here is trying to help you get your homework done. Now let's read this, okay? I am an established ex-business student with two graduate degrees. I write in both American English and Canadian English. There is, in fact, a difference, okay? If I feel I cannot do a quality job, I will admit to it and decline your offer. I am transparent and willing to work with each and every last one of you. On another note, I am able to complete a paper on just about anything. Areas include research papers, term papers, history papers, philosophy papers, case studies, articles, book reviews, speeches, and more, just ask. Resources. I have access to a plethora of materials from numerous Ivy League universities. Any in-text sites implemented will be done in a proper format. All work will be 100% original and done by me. With that being said, anything given to you will pass Turnitin and safe assign checks with flying colors. Pricing. Pricing will depend on the work that is required for your specific piece. More research reading and higher level academic papers, graduate versus undergraduate, for example, may be more expensive. Typically, papers can be completed at around $15 per double space page. Whew! Title pages and references, also known as works cited, are free of charge. I do accept rush pieces for a 20% surcharge with at least 12 hours of notice. Order now. To order, email the following form to me. Due date, grade level, type of paper, topic, word page count, prompt if accessible, if no prompt, instructions, bigdoses at gmail.com. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lad that is offering a service that, uh... <laughs> I think I think people in university colleges, you know, if you if you ever needed somebody to do your homework for you, here you go. You got the Gmail address for it. Um, no, this person's not trying to sell you drugs or somebody dying. They're just they're just trying to send you, <laughs> I guess, a service for finishing the work. It's actually interesting because over here they use Gmail. They're not using you know sort of the Sigaint email services, sort of the dark web. So I guess the need for anonymity isn't as necessary. And I'm pretty sure if this person's a legitimate ex-business student with two graduate degrees, I don't think you'd really know, I don't think you'd really track down big doses to that. Now, is this stuff real? I kind of actually want to try it, uh, not on any actual, you know, uh, thing as well too, but I actually want to see if this service is real, because we've never tried a deep web service, you know what I mean? And I think trying this one, it's not illegal because I'm not turning it into any university and whatnot. I'm actually just going to see... If uh, what happens over here is real, you know what I mean. If uh, if if I if I tell this person a topic to do, right, such as um, uh, theories, maybe this person might actually get the job done, and may maybe we might actually get our first deep web thing done. So I don't know what goes on over here. I really don't know uh, if this is real. But that being said, uh, I might actually try this. You know, we haven't actually gotten one of these deep web services. And I do want to show you if they are legitimate or not. So if you all want me to actually see if this is real and try to order from this guy, let me know in the comments below. And I'll email Big Doses with a, you know, paper that I want written and we'll see what happens from there. But that being said, I wanted to show you guys some of these services. Not all of them are bad, um, depending on what your moral stance here is. Uh, but definitely nothing illegal is happening over here. Of course, how you use that paper is defining what legal and illegal is. But, uh... Yeah, holy crap, this is interesting. I kind of want to see this, and I want to see how realistic. So I'm going to give a topic, and uh, in fact, 
why don't you all decide what the topic and type of paper and is supposed to be. I'll keep the page count low so I don't fucking pay this guy $500 out of my fucking wallet or whatever. But, having said, let me know what you want in the comments below and we'll see if we can get this done. That being said, let us go on to the next website. So, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, episode of the Deep Web. I hope it was enjoyable for you. We've seen a lot of weird stuff today. Uh, stuff that was a little interesting to see. I think this week has got to be where we've seen the weirdest of websites. You know, um, usually there's a couple websites that are weird in a Deep Web episode. But here, it seems like the very minority are like the, you know, websites that we expect, right? Like the freaking kid doing the job for you, you know, uh, writing essays and shit. And... Uh, all that kind of stuff. Even the Hitman site was just general kind of stuff. I think when we actually came across the really weird sites today, especially the Sentimental Corp, um, it, it was interesting, okay? I don't think I've had a weirder episode than I have now. It definitely is a shining for me to see what else the Deep Web series contains. If this is, you know, what we're getting now, I want to see what next week contains too. You know, the kind of websites we find that are really weird. Um, but that being said, we're going to end the episode off here. We're going to, you know, take a breather. It's been long enough. I'm looking at the waveforms, and that's how I gauge how long an episode's going to be. But that being said, if you have any websites you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Share it on the Reddit post that I put every time I upload a video. And that being said, if you like what you saw, please give a like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. Again, totally up to you. This is me, Mudahar, and I thank you for watching the video. It means a lot, you know, to me if you watch these videos, and I hope you enjoy them. But that being said, I'm going to head out, uh, probably uh, put some bleach into my brain, because I've seen some weird shit today. I am out. Mm -hmm.